Now there's a Christmas party down the road, and guess what? I wasn't even invited! What the fucking shit? What a shitload of fuck! Don't they know some of my fans will be down there probably wanting to see me? Oh, uh, well, who cares? But anyways, I've been getting a bunch of people at my door asking me where this party is. And I'm like, what the fucking shit? Oh well, I guess I have nothing better to do than to watch an anime about a dude in a house full of women for better space because if I ever had a Christmas party, I'd be inviting a bunch of women. Now let's dig into Tenshi Muyo. This intro is stupid and it looks outdated. Also, the fact is that we have a male protagonist with a bunch of women. And what does this remind you of? Let me give you a couple of minutes and make you remember. That's right, this show is a blatant ripoff of Nagima. How dare they, because Nagima is awesome. No, I don't really hate Tenshi Muyo, but when you compare it to other harem animes, this just has shit written all over it. What? Unicorns are awesome! <laughs> uh, yeah, you think? Here's another flaw with this show. Why is there subtitles? I don't want to read while watching the fucking show. I just want to watch the fucking show and know what's going on. I don't need to be reading subtitles because that shit is a distraction. Because I am irate and therefore I'm always right. Because I am a popular YouTuber. Oddly enough, I think the main character Tenshi should be in a yaoi anime. Because this guy is the biggest pussy I have ever seen. Because all these women want to fuck him. And he doesn't even want it. He just runs away. Like what I'm seeing here. If a fucking chick wanted to fuck me, I'd be like, you're hot. And I want to fuck you. Hey Tudis, what the hell are you doing here? About to go to a party. What the fuck? You got invited to that party? Why the hell wasn't I invited? Because Hope's throwing it. Hope? He invited you? Why are you hanging out with that little butthole? Final Fantasy. Duh. Yeah, good point. Another problem with this anime is that it supports animal cruelty. Because in this scene, they are pushing their mascot through some portal, and it is hurting her for some reason. And I find that to be very fucked up, and even PETA would be in the right to complain. I bet you this anime wants to piss off PETA. Also, what is with the fan service? Fan service automatically ruins any other anime, no matter what. It doesn't matter how good the plot is, the fan service just makes it utter shit. And that's only what to appeal to horny little bastards. Not like me, who has never once said that he wanted to bang a fictional character in any of my three reviews. What? I'm gonna kick your ass, you rip off! Get the fuck off my property! Well, that's it for this review. Check back in three months when we uh, go into my I Rate the 90s, which is apparently a separate series despite the fact that, that references and jokes from the reviews are imported into these videos. We're going to talk about all the breakfast cereals of the 90s because face it, breakfast is ruined. WHY AM I IN HELL AGAIN?